G'day guys, back on board All Stars today. I'm going to be doing a Raycor fuel filter change. Um, this boat has a polishing system built in. So what I'm going to do is um, show you guys how we go about changing it and what to look out for and the bits and pieces you might need along the way. Welcome back to All the Stars Sailing. Climb aboard our 37 year old 37 foot sailing boat All the Stars as we discover the highlights and the lowlights of sailing in and around Australia. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. As many of you would know, 2023 has been a year for all the stars in harbour at Bamagui on the south coast of New South Wales. Life took a change from sailing to earning a living. That is sexy. And helping out friends sailing their boats. You left your cooties in there. <laughs> Living the country life and keeping up with some home upkeep tasks as well as a few boat improvements. So here I am at the front of the engine and uh, this is my primary rake oil filter. So what actually happens is the fuel comes <clears throat> out of the tank from this line, goes through the first Raycor filter, which I imagine is our 30 micron. Then it goes through to the fuel pump on the engine, which pumps it through to the uh, black engine fuel filter, which you saw earlier. That's at the back there. And then it goes back through on a re return line. This is the return line. It goes back through to the tank that way. Now, that filter there is my fuel polishing filter, the one at the back, and that's a 10 micron. So what I'm gonna do is tackle this one first, because it's accessible. And I'm gonna put down one of these drip mats. And I'm gonna take this cover off. I'll bleed the fuel out first, take this cover off, and do the oil change, the filter change. And then I'll know what I'm up against for the second filter at the back there. So there's a brand new 30 micron. And in this box, I've got quite a few spares. There's a 10 micron. Uh, and then we have the engine fuel filter, which looks a little bit like an oil filter, but it's uh, definitely called an, a fuel filter. Um, so I'm gonna be replacing the one on the engine, which is this guy. Um, you can see in the bottom of the Raycor filters, there's a little glass inspection bowl. That's so that you can see impurities showing up uh, if you have got a bad batch of fuel. Now, because the boat has sat in harbour for about 12 months now, with only a few little uh, outings in that time, most of that diesel that's in that tank is over 12 months old. It's more likely to develop moisture um, and sweating and condensation in the tank. Um, so I see that it can't hurt to purge a bit of that fuel out, uh, run the polishing system, and then remove the filters, do a change, prime it up, and then just make sure that everything's nice and clear in those glasses. But before I do anything, I'm going to run the uh, fuel polishing pump. You'll hear it screaming away. And that's just going to circulate for maybe 10, 15 minutes. And here we have a isolator switch for fuel polisher. Let's hit that. Right, so the fuel tap is off on the tank. And I'm just going to crack this separator. We might need to create a bit of a air escape. Okay. There she goes. I don't know if you can see that, but looks pretty clean. Looks bloody fine, doesn't it? Right, so that's the last of it. You can see one or two little bits of, of uh, sediment. But there's not much there. Oh, decant this into my... See how clean that fuel is. I don't think this filter is dirty at all. It's 
pretty good, which is a good sign. It means the tank's pretty clean. Now, I'm just going to take this cap off. Right, so that's my little service indicator valve. It's called a fuel filter minder. Right, I'm going to take that cover off. Lovely seal. No, uh, might need a screwdriver for this. Uh, there's little handles on these filters, you can just pull the handle. Yeah, see the little handle there? That's the little handle. So that just comes straight up. Let that drip there for a sec. Right, straight into the tray. So, that filter looks pretty good. It's definitely not full. So that's what she looks like empty. I'm going to put a new filter in there. So this kit comes with a new o-ring seal for the, the topper, which I've just pushed into place. And there's also a new o-ring comes with the kit for the T-handle, which is this guy. So I'm going to replace that. And then there's our new filter, which we're going to push into place, and that's the top. So it's going to go in like that. I'm just trying to take that existing O-ring off the T-handle without destroying it, because it looks quite different in shape or profile. I'm wondering whether it's just been distorted with pressure. There we go. Yeah, I think it has. I'm just rolling that off. Yeah. See, that's the old one. That's the new one. Just push this new one on. Oh, jeez, I hope that works. It does look a bit smaller. Let's put that filter in. It says in the instructions to line it up and twist it into place. There we go. Oh, before I do that, it says to fill it up with fresh diesel. So I'm going to put some diesel in this before I put that lid on. And now our lid with our new O-ring on it. And our new O-ring on our T-handle. That there. That's the fuel polishing system filter. And that's our 30 micron filter. You can see there the little grab handles. I'm letting it drain a little bit there, then I'm going to replace that. But um, look, the filter looks really good. It's not, it's not filthy. And there was no water in the bottom of the separator. So I'm pretty happy with all that. But it's good to do as a maintenance thing. Just to have your peace of mind that your filters are, are clean. And you don't want your fuel being contaminated and having an engine failure halfway to somewhere. You can also see from here, that's the fuel filter for the engine, which we're going to replace next. So there's our new 30 micron filter. I'm about to put that straight in. It goes that way up. Now I've got that new O-ring which I'll replace on the lid as well. So the fuel polishing filter is replaced. Um, the inline fuel filter has been replaced, the preliminary fuel, fuel filter which is a Raycor. Now we're about to replace the engine fuel filter. So there's three fuel filters in this boat to prevent uh, fuel blockages, damage to the engine. And there she is, hook up. I don't see any impurities coming out of that, that fuel at all, it looks very clean. I mean, it could be caught in the actual filter, but my guess is that um, we've been lucky with good fuel. And on top of that, 
we've got three filters and there's a big one in front of this one, the Raycor in front of this engine filter to pick up any more impurities so you probably didn't need to replace that either but just peace of mind, good to know where we're at. Now I've just got to dump this into the waste container and take this all off the boat. Very messy. So that's all three filters replaced. Um, all I to do now is top up the diesel um, in the tank. But first I think I'll run the um, polisher, circulate some fuel through the system. Then we're going to do a quick start up and look for any leaks. So here we are, fuel filters have been replaced. I'm just going to run the engine soon and check for any leaks. That's pretty much all it takes to do the fuel filter change on a Raycor fuel filter. And uh, I'm very glad that I did mine, but uh, there was nothing to be alarmed about, which was great. All clean fuel by the looks of things. Thanks for watching guys and good luck with your engine maintenance. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more upcoming episodes coming your way. And if you'd like to help us make more of these videos and get access to exclusive video content, why not become a member of Patreon? Link in the description below.